Uh, I'm John Quelch, uh, Dean of uh, Miami Business School. I'm here with Keith Williams, the CEO of UL. Uh, what is the mission of UL, formerly Underwriters Laboratories? Right, our mission for 125 years, this is our birthday, uh, has been to promote safe living and working environments for people, just to make the world a safer place. And how is the uh, articulation of the mission changing in the 21st century? Well, the mission uh, changes in lots of ways. The first is, of course, technology. When we first started out in 1894, it was very simple stuff like fire hose. And in those days, you tested fire hose with your teeth. And now and we developed a way to test it with instrumentation. Today, the technology is totally different. And you're talking about uh, electronics. You're talking about IoT. You're talking about sophisticated batteries and materials. So that's changed a, a lot. And the second is the workforce is changing. Now, the workforce has become younger. Um, our workforce today is more than 90% millennial and Gen X. And so that changes the thinking about the mission, the way we approach it, the way we work. And give, given global manufacturing and the global supply chains, how is the business distributed internationally? I presume it used to be primarily in the U.S. It used to be uh, solely in the U.S., and today 55% of our employees are outside the U.S., and probably a higher percentage of our business than that. And what about the uh, competitive landscape for what I think is called the TIC sector? Can you just explain what the TIC sector is and what's uh, your competitive niche in it? Oh, so TIC is testing, inspection, and certification it's basically a European industry. Uh, we have UL in the U.S., CSA in Canada, but the rest of the companies would be European. Beer Veritas in France, SGS in Switzerland, uh, the TUVs to run into Sud in Germany, Intertech in the U.K., Decra in Germany, uh, Eurofins in Belgium. So it's mostly a European industry and then UL and a smaller CSA. So w would it be fair to say that most of your customers then are American manufacturers? Uh, no. A lot of our business comes from European manufacturers who want to access the U.S. market. A lot of it comes from Asian manufacturers who want to access the U.S. market. And so it's really a global manufacturing base. What, what about the, uh, the UL logo? I d I, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't see it around as much as I think I used to. Um, the brand building of the UL logo, is that a challenge these days? And uh, what are you doing about it? Well, you know, the good news is that we've been very successful. So if you look at the death from fire in, Amer in America, it's gone down by 90% in the last 100 years. And uh, today when people go to, into a store and buy a product, they assume it's safe and for, the, for a large part it is. So maybe we're victims of our own success in that regard. Having said that, uh, our business is growing. Um, we issue some 22 billion marks a year. Uh, it shows up in all kinds of places, and people probably look for it less today than they used to. Um, but the challenges are always emerging. So hoverboards, mm -hmm. remember a couple of years ago, that was a big problem with fires. Now e-cigarettes and, and battery fires related to that. Um, uh, chemical emissions from furniture and from carpet. So lots of new things that are arising as challenges. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's always an opportunity for us to keep our name in front of people. Uh, we do a very limited amount of advertising and commercial promotion. Mm -hmm. We spend more of our money on scientific research. Um, and at the same time, I think we're more relevant than ever. What, what's the one thing that you'd like people to know about UL that you think most people don't? I think the one thing I'd really like them to know is that uh, we are keeping the world safe for you. And uh, so that your house doesn't burn down, you don't get shocked by appliances, that uh, you, you won't have a problem uh, on the mode of transportation that you're taking today or tomorrow, and that we're helping to make the world more sustainable, more green, more carbon friendly, and uh, things that go way beyond uh, hair dryers. Right. Terrific. Good. Thanks so much, Keith, and good luck. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.